Welcome parents. This quick start guide is designed to help you get familiar with Microsoft Teams, a digital platform that your child may be using this year, whether learning in the traditional classroom or learning remotely at home. In this video, we'll go through a brief introduction to Microsoft Teams and we'll learn how to access and navigate this powerful platform. We would encourage you to check out our other videos in this playlist to learn more about how Microsoft Teams can be leveraged to support communication, collaboration, and learning. You may be wondering, what is Microsoft Teams? Microsoft Teams is a hub for many of the activities that might happen in a traditional learning environment. Microsoft Teams has tools that allow students to communicate and collaborate in real time or when needed. Students can create posts, engage in chats, and can join or host virtual meetings to collaborate with peers. Students can access, share, and create files, as well as share videos, web links, apps, and other digital resources. Teachers can create and distribute assignments right within Teams, meaning your child can instantly access his or her digital work with ease. And with Microsoft Teams, your child will have access to accessibility tools and features that make content more accessible to everyone. One of the coolest parts about Microsoft Teams is that it can be accessed from almost any internet-enabled device. So whether you have a laptop, desktop, Mac, iPhone, Android phone, an iPad, or even a tablet, your child can engage in Microsoft Teams activities. And Microsoft Teams can be accessed from the web on almost any internet browser, like Edge, Chrome, or even Safari. Now let's take a look at how to get started. To get started with Microsoft Teams, launch an internet browser like Edge, Chrome, or Safari from your computer or mobile device and navigate to www.office.com. From the office.com website, click on the sign in button on the left. This will bring you to the Office 365 sign-in page. On this page, your child will log into Office 365 using their school or district-issued credentials. If you're unsure about this information, you should contact your child's teacher or the school. If you have this information, enter your child's school-issued account username in the first box. With that information entered, simply click on the Next button below. Next up, you or your child should enter the password associated with the school or district issued Office 365 account. After entering the password, simply click on the sign in button to access Office 365. After logging into Office 365, your child will be brought to the launch page. From here, your child can access any of the apps or digital tools within Office 365 by clicking on the desired app in the left menu bar. One of the apps is Microsoft Teams and is represented by a bluish purple T icon with two people. To access Teams, just click on the Teams icon in the left menu bar. Upon launching Teams, you will see all of the Teams that your child can access. In some cases, you may see a Team for each course or class or other Teams that your child has access to. Each team is represented by a tile with an icon. Clicking on any of the tiles will allow you to navigate to that particular course or team. Upon launching Microsoft Teams, you'll also notice the left app menu bar. We will dive more deeply into this navigation resource shortly, but take note that the left app bar is always accessible when working in Teams and will be the primary navigation source when using Teams. You will also notice in the bottom left corner of your screen a small icon with a computer and a down arrow. This icon will help you download the Teams app. If you'd like to download the app to your mobile device or computer, simply click on the icon to begin. If your child will be using Teams daily, this can be a great way to save time getting started and will also allow your child full access to the features and functionalities of Teams. Whether you're working online in a browser or you're working in the downloaded Teams app, to begin accessing content in Teams, simply click on the tile of the desired team to begin. Once in a team, there's several ways to navigate the content and resources. First, let's take a look at the app bar or the menu on the left side of the screen. As I mentioned, the app bar always remains visible when working in Teams and allows for the navigation of content within one team or within all teams. The first listed is the activity icon, which will allow your child to keep track of what's most important in teams during work and when away. For example, anytime your child is tagged in content in teams or when a new assignment is given 
or a grade provided, your child will receive a notification on the activity icon. Clicking on the activity icon will display notifications and allow your child to navigate quickly to access that information. Below the activity icon is the chat feature. Chat is a private place where your child can communicate with peers or with the teacher. Messages sent through chat can only be seen by those involved in the chat. These messages can be sent to individuals or to multiple people for group chatting. Chat is a great place for your child to ask the teacher questions for assignment clarification, questions about grades or feedback, or a place for students to work with a partner or small group of students. The Teams icon is the third one on the list and will allow your child to access their Teams. By clicking on the Teams icon, your child will be taken to the main navigation screen of their course team. The Assignment icon is where your child will access assignments for their courses in Teams. By clicking on the Assignment icon, then selecting the desired class, students can see upcoming assignments as well as completed assignments. If your child has been given a new assignment, a notification bubble will be displayed beside the icon. The calendar in Teams is a great way to help your child stay organized and keep track of upcoming due dates, assignments, and virtual meetings. By clicking on the calendar icon, your child can see any events on the calendar, access meetings at the appropriate join time, and can add or schedule new meetings for themselves and others. Calls within Microsoft Teams are a great way for your child to communicate and collaborate with others, especially when physical distance keeps them apart. By clicking on the calls icon, students can start calls with classmates, small groups, or even the teacher. Calls can be audio-based, video-based, or even screen share calls are possible. The files icon allows your child to quickly and easily access documents and resources that may be needed for coursework or assignments. From here, your child can access documents stored in Teams, documents stored in their private OneDrive, or documents stored in other cloud storage services. Access to files is another way that Microsoft Teams has helped make Teams a one-stop shop for education. You may also see the three dots or the ellipses in the left Teams menu. This allows you to access additional tools available through Teams. Clicking on these three dots will take you to any additional available resources through your child's Teams account. Now that we've run through the left app menu bar, let's take a look at the next section of Teams. Beside the navigation bar, you'll see the left rail. In this space, you'll see the name of the team you're currently accessing, along with the channels for that team. Channels are sections of a team that help keep information, resources, and conversations organized by topic or theme. Within each of these channels in a team, there's also a tabbed menu across the top. These tabs allow your child to quickly and easily access the resources that will be used the most in a team or course. The tabs listed will vary depending on the channel being accessed. Let's take a look at the functionality of each of these tabs. First, each channel has a post tab. The post tab is where conversations, announcements, and assignments are posted for the entire group. This is where public conversations happen within a team. Teachers can create posts or announcements to provide important information to all students, and students can make posts to engage with classmates, share ideas, or present information. Each channel also has a files tab. This is where documents or files from conversations are stored for easy access in the future. In addition, teachers can add important course documents here for students to access. If your child's teacher is using OneNote Class Notebook, access to that resource can be found by clicking on the Class Notebook tab. This will allow your child to open the notebook within Teams and without having to navigate to any other website or application. Students can access content shared by the teacher in a notebook and can contribute to their individual notebooks through this tab. The Assignments tab, which only appears in the tabbed menu bar of the general channel, is where your child can access any assignments for that particular course. Students can see upcoming assignments or access previously created ones. In addition, from the general channel of a course team, students can access the grades earned on assignments in that class. By clicking on the Grades tab, students can see their grades and feedback provided by the teacher. One of the best ways for your child to actively contribute in Teams is through posting. With posting, content can be seen by all members of a group. To access the post in any channel, your child should click on the Post tab in the top tabbed menu. This will show content added by the teacher or content added by other students. Your child can reply to the content posted by others by clicking on the Reply button under a post. This creates a threaded discussion. 
If your child would like to create a new post, simply click on the New Conversation button at the bottom of the Teams window. Clicking on the New Conversation box will provide a window for your child to type a public message. From here, students can add a subject if desired along with their message, additional formatting features along with the ability to attach documents or files, emojis, GIFs, or other elements can be found in the bottom menu of the posting box. Once the content is added, students can click on the paper airplane button to send the message. To learn more about Microsoft Teams or to find out how you can best support your child with Teams, check out the other videos in this playlist.